All right, what's going on everybody? Suro here, welcome back to the channel. So we have an update for the Remembering Update 5 release date, which is actually launching tomorrow on June 7th. And while I've already posted a video showcasing the trailer breakdown, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the patch notes because the patch notes have a lot of information that the trailer didn't. Now, if you guys do enjoy this video or find it helpful, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And I will be streaming the new update the second that it launches. So be sure that you have your bell notifications on. So let's go ahead and take a look. It says, Howdy Valley Villagers. It's no secret that our previous update was a huge one from the team bringing Simba and Nala to the valley and taking players on a journey to the Lion King realm. Well, we're excited to share a breakdown of what you can expect from our next major content update, The Remembering, which launches June 7th. In addition to the customary bug squashing improvements you come to expect, we have new characters, the biggest story update yet, and a bundle of new features that will help you further shape the valley in your own image, among other things. Check out the details below. All right, so let's get to the new contents and improvements. It's our biggest story yet. The story begins, the forgetting comes full circle. So this is the remembering. We've all known the forgetting. So everything's coming full circle. This is going to be the end of Act 1, the first chapter in the game. This story will conclude and then we will go on and move to a new story starting in September. So we also have the Fairy Godmother, a new character coming along with her friendship quest arrives in the valley answering the longest standing questions of who does the giant pumpkin belong to? So it's confirmed right here, Fairy Godmother lives in the pumpkin. Celebrating all things Pixar with the brand new Wonder of Pixar Star Path featuring exclusive items from the upcoming feature film Elemental, which I think releases in theaters in June, as well as Inside Out, Finding Nemo, and Finding Dory, and Turning Red. Even more new optional items are on the way to the premium shop for a limited time, including the Dark Castle house skin, which looks amazing, I'm not gonna lie, I can't argue that. Vacation inspired dream styles for multiple characters. Oh, vacation inspired. Also, oh, like summer outfits for our different characters. That's interesting. Animal companion skins and much more. Let's hope the animal companion skins are not just another recolor of the ones we've already have. So, uh, browse with confidence. Preview the in game models of items in the premium shop before purchasing them. Yes, I love that. Most games already have that. And so I'm glad to see it brought to the game. So now if you see a house or an outfit, it's actually going to have like a 3D model so you can see what it looks like. And I'm not sure if you're going to be able to like kind of place it down in your valley or if it's just going to be on the little like side image whenever it's rotating or what. But that's really cool. I'm glad we got that. A premium shop refresh time that has been adjusted to Wednesday at 9 a.m. Eastern time. So it was on Friday. They're moving it to the middle of the week and it's going to be on Wednesday. I'm actually okay with that. Maybe. I don't know. It's kind of a weird move because I think most people get paid on Thursdays, right? So that is kind of weird, but I prefer it on Wednesday. New shipment alert. Scrooge McDuck's store has received a new batch of items to collect, including a range of pumpkin theme goods. Let's go. Although in the last update, they said we had a bunch of new mushroom items but i've not seen any mushroom decor in my valley or in the shops have you guys to help track oh here we go this is my most requested feature above anything i actually wanted this more than i want to raise the item limit to help track which items from scrooge mcduck's store you've added to your collection and which you haven't yet a red dot will be displayed on store items that are not yet owned let's go finally that right there is the best thing in this update to me. Mark your mark on the valley with the expanded touch of magic feature allowing to customization of furniture using your hard earned motifs. So now you can make your own rugs, your own beds, uh, tables, whatever furniture. We can now create our own. That doesn't really speak to me too much because I usually don't mess with the touch of magic features, but I've seen how creative you guys are, so I'm glad you're getting some additional features for that. Bring a little more style to the rainy days in the valley with new umbrella hand accessories. So it sounds like it's just going to be that. It's just going to be an accessory. They don't really say that there's a use for them other than it just looking good, you know, cosmetically. You can now place multiple different player houses through the valley. Please know only one instance of any given house style can be placed. So I guess if you own the purple cottage, you could only have one purple cottage. You can't make 10 other player houses and have 10 purple cottages. So it's just one house per valley. 
but it, you can use multiple houses using all of your skins, if that makes sense. So you can only place a specific skin on one house at a time. Step up your wardrobe, use the new mannequin feature to save, display, and instantly change into your favorite outfits at the press of a button. Ooh, well, we already knew that, but that's really cool. I love that feature. Roads in the valley have received a glow up allowing you to add borders to them. We got edges added to the game. Let's go. Customize the look of your tools with premium tool skins. We've added a news feed to the start menu to keep you in the loop about all the latest Disney Dreamlight Valley updates. That's good, but you got me here for it. Just hit that subscribe. I got your back. Added a toggle to the options menu on high performance hardware consoles here. That allows player to increase the valley item limit allowing the placement of 1200 unique objects and 6000 total objects including duplicate hold on we got to read this again added a toggle to the option amount you on oh okay so i guess the nintendo switch isn't going to have this feature so they're increasing the item limit for higher end pcs so your pc obviously playstation 5 so not ps4 or anything and then the Xbox Series S or the Xbox Series X. So those are the most recent Xbox consoles. You will now be able to have an increased item limit. That's interesting because we knew that the Nintendo Switch was what was holding this back. I just didn't know how they were going to go about this. So it sounds like you just are out of luck if you're on the Switch. But that's like double what we have now. And then added Steam and Epic Game Store achievements. Now let's move on to the bug fixes. I'm just going to go over a couple of these. It looks like they're fixing the Dream Fizz recipe. So if your quest and that was like stalled up and messed up, that's going to get fixed. Fix an issue in which Scrooge McDuck's store would appear empty. I'm actually having that problem. Fix an issue in which prevented memory shards and star coins from spawning. The Stitches Hobby Quest with the broken TV, it's getting fixed. That's a problem I have on my main save. And then fix an issue for the Collect Them All Strangers from the Outside Quest where the toy alien was like stuck in a spot that nobody could reach it. We also have a couple more for some other quests like the Eyes in the Dark, Remy's Recipe Book, A Story to Tell. And then fix an issue in which oysters stop spawning in Dazzle Beach Biome. Issue that caused Raven Wings to item to repeatedly flap every few seconds. I wear those wings all the time and I have not seen those yet. And then of course optimization fixes and bugs and all that stuff. So if you guys haven't seen my most recent video, definitely check it out. I have a video showing a breakdown of the trailer. And yeah, the update's dropping tomorrow. So we have a lot of big things. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, you know what to do. Thank you so much again and I'll see you in the next one.